Okay, so the day has finally come. We're going to do the brakes on this here beast. My uh, friend will be back here shortly, so I'm gonna get started at least getting the wheels off and stuff like that. It turns out those Bosch brake pads were not severe duty ones, so I ended up having to return those and buy these Wagner ones, which oddly were about half the price. So we've got here a couple sets of tapered roller bearings. We got some seals. These are for the inside of the, um, the brake discs. I've got the other one in the van. And then these are the outer ones, which I believe the race, I'm hoping the race, is built into the disc. Then we've got our ultra, ultra beefy pads here. So yeah, I think these, these should get the job done. Let's take a look at the discs and make sure that they do in fact have the outer races installed. All right, here's these heifers. They're so heavy. Erg. Okay. And it appears as though, yes, we have a pre-installed bearing race. And ugh, the ones on the back also have a race installed, so that's good. We've got our tone ring here for the ABS. It's a... Uh, Oh, it's sort of a little uh, metal tab metal thing, whatever. I'm gonna leave these back here for now until my friend gets back. We're gonna get started with pulling the wheels off of this thing and see how see much progress we can make before he gets back here in about 30 minutes. This thing has seven lug hubcaps on it, but it's actually eight lug wheels. I think these should just come off. Aha, there we go. And I'm hoping that these are not the Super Duty 8 lug pattern. It's like 8 on 165 versus 8 on 170. I can't remember right off, but I don't think they used the weird bolt pattern on the vans ever. So, anyways. I think there might be something in this Velcro bag. Aha! There we go. That should do something. Booyah! That'll do. So, I've got the jack under there. While it's still sitting on the ground, I'm just gonna break the bolts loose. That way, yeah, wheels turning, frictal forces, all that stuff. Question is, will I be able to do this on my own? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. I just realized my friend left me a care package out here. <laughs> That'll make things a little bit easier. Also some gloves are probably in order here. Turns out I don't have any sockets for that impact driver. So we're just gonna do one of these sort of things to get these off of here. There are bigger jack stands back there. These are just some smaller ones. All right, probably wouldn't hurt to put some never seize back on these when we put it back together. Now, if you're sneaky with this, you don't have to lift it. And if you didn't jack the tire up that far off the ground, just push forward and sort of wiggle it off. And there you go, tires off. And uh, we didn't have to lift anything. So we'll just put this over here somewhere. Oh boy, these brakes are large. Um, yeah, these rotors are definitely getting down there. We've got a little bit of a lip on here. Um, cool, let me grab some tools and uh, we're gonna get the calipers pulled off. Wait, 13 16 doesn't fit? Is this stupid thing metric? All right, 21 millimeter it is, weird. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> Something tells me. Oh, that ratchet's no good. Something tells me we might need a cheater bar or uh, <laughs> something a little more substantial than this ratchet. Yeah, that thing's broken and also not going anywhere. Um, okay, to make this a little bit easier, we're gonna turn the wheels. And anyone that owns a, has owned a Ford knows that, oh, I guess the key has to be turned. Anyone that's ever owned a Ford knows you do not want to attempt to turn the steering wheel with the engine off. Because if you turn the steering wheel with the engine off on these Fords, it tends to explode the, um, what you may call it, the uh, power steering pump reservoir because it builds up a bunch of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he's driving the large truck today. All right, cool, right on time. Um, I'll be back. You ever come across one of those bolts and nothing fits it? The six is too big, five is too small, seven thirty seconds is too small, a quarter is too big. Oh, 5.5. Oh, that's a little sloppy. Why does nothing fit this? Of course, these are Pittsburgh Allen keys. So 730 seconds is sloppy. Now it's on the floor. Five, I think, is... Yeah, that's way too small. 5.5. .5. More sloppy than 730 seconds. Um, I'm confused. Okay, well, these shouldn't be very tight, so we're just gonna do the very careful end wrench maneuver here. Oh, it's turning, yes. All right, cool. Once we get these out of here, then uh, we'll, we'll worry about figuring what size this is supposed to be later. All right, cool. And then, let's see if we can get the lower one here. It's kind of doing this by feel, I can't really see it. All right, cool. Yeah, just by nature of how these work, these should not be very tight ever. <clears throat> All right. And then, might need a prying device. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. A little bit filthy, but it looks like our boots are okay. All right, now, if we're sneaky, we can set this over here. There we go. And it locks into place. Let me get our ABS wire. And it locks into place on our frame rail there. All right, cool. Oh. These pads are fine. And when I say fine, I mean almost brand new. Um, they are a bit glazed. Well, regardless, I still want to change this out. We're at 97,000 miles, and it looks like someone might have thrown new pads on here, but these discs have a little bit of a lip, but they're not really bad at all. So you take stuff apart and you start thinking, why am I doing this? Because uh -huh. the pads look like they're new. Right. They are pretty heavily glazed though. Oh yeah. Um, I think regardless, I want to do bearings and um, discs and get the new parts on here. Right. Just, I, I don't know, I, I already spent all the money, whatever. Oh, My whole thing is like known good parts. Yeah. <laughs> So these are on sale for like 98 cents. I figured they make hand wipes of some kind. Nice. Here, look at this. And then Molly, let's see. Are you thinking, I guess, I 
even know Pandora works anymore. It seems like it doesn't work that well. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. They're torques. Because I'm like, none of these fit. And I was like, oh, here's a 5.5, but then no. And then I was like, maybe it's a Harbor Freight thing because they say Pittsburgh. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> Luckily, if properly installed, they shouldn't be that tight. All right, I'll grab that socket back. <laughs> That's a significant bolt. <laughs> oh, it's got Loctite in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense. Okay. Hey, look, it's a housing. Mmm, giant metal thing. All right, now we can get these bearings out. Okay, right tools for the job here. And that's how you get those full of dirt. Oh yeah, this grease really needs attention. Yeah, look at the grease in here. It's baked. Huh. That looks charred. It's like uh, silicone. <laughs> Damn, if you turned on House of Hair, you would have had this done much sooner. I know. <laughs> we got House of Hair on Pandora? That's on YouTube. Pandora doesn't work anymore. Oh. Exactly zero backlash on this nut, so yeah, I'm glad we're doing it. The, yeah, a piece of cardboard might work better. I was just throwing it on a baby wipe. All right, there we go. Huh. Well, looks like a thing. All right, get this cleaned up or something. Mmm, spindles. Alright. So I'll drop this in the hole. Mmm, grease. Yeah. And if I'm sneaky, I can save these gloves for the other side. Oh wait, I could just pack the other bearing right now. Pack all four of them. Yeah, good call. Been trying to record like some vehicle repair. People always are, always like this stuff or whatever. So I figure we're doing some of it. Might as well. Not to make a complete mess on the outside of this. Looks 80% shine here. Yeah. Supposedly some upgraded steel or something. I don't know what that means, but okay. I guess they have different alloys and stuff. Well, that yeah, should be something. Okay. Grab a bearing. Gross. Luckily, I just washed these jeans. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I just heard air go. <laughs> that means our seal should be on there. It's like about a half a tube per vehicle. Yeah. Should have enough left over for your truck. Perfect. Is that YouTube playing those ads? Yeah. Huh. Maybe we should all get on a family plan or something. It's like $10 a month for one person, but then I think if you pay 15, you can get like six or seven people. Okay. Then you can all watch YouTube ad free. Uh, ads are so bad. And they've started playing ads now on non monetized channels too. Oh, yeah. Our brakes set up here. Do you want 
that on any of those? Uh, yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. There's some blue right there on the uh, vice table. This is blue that's actually green. Oh, and the red is actually red? Uh, yep, yeah, red's actually red. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what the heck is green Loctite? Weird. Huh. I think blue is inside. Okay. Guess it helps if you put the right stuff in the right spot. There we go. Thank you. Keep that upside down. I don't know if it's got much left in that. Okay. Oh, hey, this is that one song. Yeah. I used this in a video for a weird montage a while back. Just enough to make me feel like I did something. I think enough of the old Loctite is doing something as well. Okay, I'll definitely want to torque those. Oh new, yeah, since new, we have the kit. New used. Right there. So, what's better? The Harbor Freight new one? Or the or used the one. Twice used. <laughs> yeah. I'll give Harbor Freight that one. shinier than it used to be. Yeah. All right, here's the other side. Appears to be mostly put together. Yeah. Slightly more shiny than before. Oh, go inside and eat some dinner and then assume it stops when I leave. <laughs> And now that we're all done with the installation, comes the fun part, where you get to bed the brakes in. And um, that usually results, or that usually involves going from about 30 to zero miles an hour about 20 times. So I'm gonna have to find some sort of road somewhere to do that on. But then I think uh, we should be good to go. All right, here's the part that's always fun to try and do without getting pulled over. We need to do at least 20 stops from 30 miles an hour to zero with a minimum of 30 seconds between each one to let everything cool down. So we're on a random road here. There's usually not too many people driving on this road, so. I mean, the idea is nice and easy. Well, 
not so much easy as just um, making sure you're not like slamming on the brakes or doing panic stops. I did clean all the machining oil off of the uh, brake discs though, got them scrubbed down good. I'm expecting at some point though to uh, start smelling brakes and stuff. But they certainly don't feel like they're doing much at the moment. Uh, battery on the GoPro died. So I'm just gonna drive through some of these neighborhoods. There's a bunch of stop signs here and get up to like 25 or 30 miles an hour and should work fine. Which by the way, when we were doing this, we discovered the kingpins need to be replaced on the top of the, um, the front spindle mounts or whatever. So I'm going to look up parts on that and see how hard it is to do. They're not too bad, but anytime you get play on those, you definitely don't want to ignore it. Okay, that was stop number nine. Yeah, every time I stop, I feel it being more and more grabby. This is gonna be great. Having brakes that work amazingly well is an outstanding thing. Now these brakes aren't like super loud or anything, but they definitely make a little bit of noise. They can kind of hear it. Anyways, I'm gonna continue on. This is boring. I'll see you guys back at the house on the other side of town after a while. All right, I think we're good to go. So the next video is gonna be changing the spark plugs. I actually filmed that about a week ago. I was going to include it in this video, but then it was gonna be like 40 minutes long. Plus uh, I've got new coil packs coming tomorrow that I need to install. Uh, that'll make more sense when you see the video. but. I think decided just to chop them up and we'll do two separate videos. So next one is gonna be changing the spark plugs on the 5.4. Actually turned out it wasn't too bad. I've done a lot of these in the past, working in dealerships and various shops and things, but yeah, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, I'll catch you in a day or two.